Our next guest was at the Grammys, faced backlash last year for supporting President Trump on the red carpet. And this morning, there's a different kind of backlash she's faced with. A singer and songwriter and former Trump campaign advisory board member, Joy Vila, is here. Joy, great to see you. Great to see you, Maria. Thank you so much for joining us. And you, once again, you showed up with a dress that ruffled some feathers. First right. off, what happened last night at the Grammys? Tell us. Well, last night I wore my uh, dress that says, actually didn't say anything. It showed a picture of a fetus. And this painting I painted on my dress. It's one that I had painted 10 years ago. And I recreated it on my dress. And my purse, this is the purse that says Choose Life. So I chose to represent a Choose Life pro-life message on the Grammys red carpet. What kind of a reaction did you get? A lot of love, a lot of hate. Social media, a lot of people are hating on me right now. But at the Grammys, actually, I had a lot of people tell me it's beautiful. They wanted to hear my story. I told them that I had given a child up for adoption 10 years ago. That was my choice, and that's why I'm pro-life. Mm, so you gave your child up for adoption. This yeah. is something very personal to you. Yes, absolutely. This is why I chose to wear it. That was actually a photo, or I'm sorry, a painting of my daughter when I was eight months pregnant. I was 20 years old. I was faced with a crisis pregnancy, and this is something that meant a lot to me and I really wanted to show my values on that carpet and use this platform for activism a lot of stars use activism I use activism for my own personal uh, value system 